Hey YouTube, this is TechFnac9 here, and today I'm going to show you how to download Ice Cream Sandwich on your Galaxy S2 T-Mobile, alright, T989, alright guys, today, alright, so let's start it, alright, so first, you want to download the links I have on the bottom, alright, it's going to be in the description, so you just download that first, when you're done downloading that, you can get started up, alright, first, you want to plug in your phone, alright, just plug it in, and plug in the USB to your computer, all right, you got this. So do that. Right, slide it down. You do USB connect. You can connect to USB storage. All right, there we go. Now we have it on the computer. All right, I have two devices because my SD card is plugged put into the phone, but it's okay if you just have one. All right. So um, the two download links that you have. All right, you have one that's called Dark Side, and the other one is SG8 to port to your T989. All right. So both you want to put in your one of your internal so storages, all right? So I'm gonna put it into my SD card. Just drag it and drop it into your SD card. All right. You gotta wait till they're both done copying. After that, I'll be right back. All right. It's just about done. About five more seconds left. All right. All right. Before we get started, I just want to tell you that your phone has to be rooted. If it's not rooted. I will have a link to my other video to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 T989 T-Mobile phone. All right, so you have them both into your internal storage for your phone. All right, so now just turn it on. Just want to disconnect storage from PC. All right, press home. Just want to unplug it. All right. Now this doesn't be ha if it's off, it's okay. If it's on, it's all right. All right. So all you do is hold down the two volume buttons and the power button all at the same time. Just keep holding it down, and when you feel a vibration, take your hand off the power button, but still leave it on to the volume, on the volume buttons. Alright, I felt the vibration, take it off the power, keep leaving it on your fingers, on your volume button. Alright, we just entered into cloud cord mod recovery, that's a very good sign. Alright, now before we begin and install the port to ice cream sandwich on your Galaxy S2 T-Mobile, First, I highly recommend that you back up your uh, current RAM, alright? I highly, highly recommend it. So all you have to do is to go all the way down to backup and restore, very simple. Do backup, and there you go. It's going to start backing up. This will take 5 to 10 minutes depending on how much memory, how many games, how many musics you have on your um, phone, alright? So I'll be back when this is done. Alright, um, after about 5 to 10 minutes, you should be done. Now, if you're done with that, just go click the up button, and it'll bring you all the way down, and just click go back. Alright, now you want to go all the way down to install zip from SD card. You want to do that, you want to click the first one, choose zip from SD card. And the first thing you want to do is dark side super wipe, alright. This is, I highly recommend this than cleaning your cache and your memory directly from clockwork map. This is the most complete, you won't get any errors or it'll work all the time when you're porting a RAM or anything like that or installing a custom RAM. I highly, highly recommend it. Alright, so let's first do that. Dark side swipe. It should be in SD card or somewhere. It should be in zip form. Do not extract it when you put it into your computer, alright. Just zip form. Put it directly in there. Click it. You want to click all the way down to yes. Alright, this will take about 5 minutes, no more than 5 minutes. I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, it's been about 5 minutes. And now it should say like dark side right there. Alright, that means it's done. It's that, alright. Now you want to go, click the very first one. It says choose zip from SD card. You want to choose that one. And now this time you want to do SGH I727 port to SGH T989 zip. Choose that one. And this same process, just click yes. And this is where it would install the ice cream sandwich from the port. All right. There are not many problems. I haven't received. I haven't gotten very problems with this. Just the auto rotation. And some people say that you can't turn off your phone properly. You have to take off the battery to turn it off. But with me, I can uh, turn it off and turn it back on without the battery. So I can show you that, guys. I'll be back in five minutes. Five to ten minutes when this is done. Thanks, guys. Almost. Done. All right. I'm back. It only took about like two minutes, so that's really. It that was really quick. So now we're done with that. It should say install from SD card complete. Right, you guys can't see that, but I'll read it off. All you want to do is click go back. Power button. And now you do a reboot system now. Alright, now it's rebooting. Now.
Now here, since it's your very first time installing Ice Cream Sandwich, um, this doesn't happen to me because I already did it once, but since it's you, I'd like to just sit down for 10 minutes and not even touch it at all, alright? So, wait exactly 10 minutes and then you can turn it back on and it should be all good. So, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Alright guys, 10 minutes and then you can... It's been exactly 10 minutes and I just came back. Um, the phone went through a process of vibrations, um, Samsung logo and all that. I just rebooted it and now... I'm here. Right, ice cream sandwich for all you fans. Um, it's a big upgrade from gingerbread. You uh, have better, uh, better um, performance, battery life, all that. I really like it. Much faster and all that. Web browser is much faster. You have all that. It's everything. Um, just the only problem is the screen rotation that it won't work. So you have screen rotation on. Can't really see it, but yeah. All right, there you go. It's on. So I'm gonna go to web browser. My wife. Uh, I'm gonna go to web browser. See how I'm up, but it goes sideways. And when I go sideways, it goes up. That's the only problem. So if you do is just turn it off, and now you'll be fine. They do not have a fix yet, but if they do, I will update this video with it. But that's all. Um, don't forget to like, comment, um, share with your friends, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your um time for watching this video and. Hopefully I helped you um, get informed how to do this. Thank you guys.